Who's going to do the feasibility study? Um, we will probably bring an architect on board. There is actually a gentleman we worked with before who's trained in actually library needs assessment. Mm -hmm. There's new standards coming out at the state level that we're going to have to meet. We're going to have to look at those standards and bring those on board, or we're not going to be in, in compliance with state standards, and then we're going to lose what little funding we get from the state. We don't get a lot, but if we don't meet standards, we don't get the money. But an architect wouldn't be able to tell you where the best place to put it is. Would it? Um, they, yeah, I mean, that's, that's part of what they do, you know, in terms of just looking at sites and telling you the, the, um, what are some of the drawbacks of a site and you know, what are what are in terms of why we added site investigation in there is the idea with architects and engineers of doing the the phase one possibly the phase two studies to look at properties you know because those are all long-term costs of what's going to go into a project my, my problem is not with the site investigation right. or, or architects I mean I understand, but it, part of it is expenses related to development you know and, and that can be construed well, just as, like on the jail like we yeah. decided okay when we did our 330,000 or whatever it was like that's the site that we're committing to you know so I think with what you were just saying it's kind of hard for us to ra or me rationalize well you should pick first like if you're gonna have a project in my opinion you can't really base the outcome of your project based on well, we don't really know where it's gonna be right well there's but I, multiple well, I don't have steps. a problem with that but the question, I mean, you got expenses related to site development. That could be moving utilities and right. bringing but if infrastructure, you and I'm not too not sure that. Million. I know what you're saying is that's in here so you can do it at a point down the road. It could come off of construction, but if we approve it, you could theoretically buy it tomorrow and start. We, we, we could. We could. could. We could. You're not saying. Money. Theoretically, but there's, there's going to be a referendum. But, but I understand, yeah. yeah. You can't have so it. so there wouldn't be a referendum to purchase the land. That's what no. he's talking right. about. So you could go ahead and purchase and do some site development, but yeah. then you would be taking a chance on losing if the referendum lost. If it won, then you're ahead. You know, I mean, because of, and I understand that it's just the perception of it. Our, if, our if discussions with some of the owners have been literally options for year, year and a half. In other words, to tie up the ground with actually having not purchased it or not having had to purchase it. And that makes real good sense to me. I mean, I, I and Beth, we that. would have a site select. I mean, I mean, in, in other words, that's part of what we've got to get decided. Where are we going? We have some good Finish ideas. That. Finish that part. But at the same time, work on what does the building need to look like. I mean, in terms of not what does it physically look like, mm -hmm. but how much space do you need? Just the very discussion about the jail. How many square feet do you need for this program? How much do you need for that program? How much do you need for that program? And I use the word collectively program. Uh, you know, I mean, how much you need for a reference room? How much if you're going to do added spaces with the with museum, museum or whatever? What's the space that you need? Will, will the building will the building be over 12 to 12 million? Will it be in the reference process? I think it would be. Then we're back to the. Are we not back to the chicken and egg concept of maybe should it not go to referendum first? I, what do you go to referendum with? If you don't well, have, if you, if you don't do the planning, I'm with just what saying it, if you're going to throw two million dollars or something to buy it to purchase, and the, you don't know what the chances are, what the outcome of the referendum. It's pass or not? So then, if it fails, you've got land where you're like. Yeah, what, what is the backup plan or what right. has the... Well, I mean, if, if the referendum fails, we're going to need part of the land to move some of the, the current facility is going to have to last us then. And the only way we can do that is start taking services out of the building. We're going to have to split the building into two different locations. We can't keep functioning in the current building. So we're going to have to start pulling more services out of the building, trying to decide is, what those services are going to be. Is that a bad thing? Could you it costs you more overhead to do it. It costs more to do it. We can, yeah. you know, I mean, I have a building right now that is collapsing basically on our friends group. They've got to be moved out, and that that old microwave building's got to come down. Um, there, that's one part of our operation in terms of how we're making money is selling old books. <laughs> you know, guys, <laughs> we're doing everything we can, um, and they've got to be moved. So if they can't move into a new building and we buy a space downtown, we'll move them into that building.
But, you know, I've had someone suggest that. Why don't we buy four or five old buildings downtown and move it around? Um, I sat here before and told you what the security issues are starting to become in a public library and the number of staff it takes when we're open 62 hours a week. Yeah. So. <laughs> we're going, you, you know. Talk yeah. Yeah, let's not, let's not go. There. But, um, but anyway, I would ask for your approval so we can move ahead. Um, I don't know if there's other questions I can answer. Any other questions? I'd rather than see it fail. fail. I'd rather I'd rather see the amount uh, just for the feasibility study portion of it and have you do that. And then we would obviously go from there. And that, uh, I think you got a better chance of getting that passed than two million. Uh, or you want to table it? And would that would that be more than striking just the purchase of the real estate? Is that what part on here is feasible? Well, Bill said she thought the feasibility portion well, would be around four hundred thousand. It's not that. We paid. It's, uh, it's, not, that it's not in that breakdown. No, we oh. paid DLZ three fifty, wasn't it? To do the. Do the jail. Three thirty. Three thirty. A lot of money. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought that was in the over. The feasibility study probably. And, and then just change some of his language. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Because you don't want to finance that position. Not good news. Buying it or construction. I know. Because long time. Design improvement. You want to do engineering and architectural expenditures. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Well, uh, yeah, the bids that's, that's, that's another. Uh, that's the reason I ask if they want to table it and look at. Is it, uh, what's what's the bond effect going to be if they just did a four hundred thousand? I mean, they got certain soft costs involved in that, and then if they come back in uh, a few months and, because I guess they're going to they could roll everything else into the whole bond. What do they do for four hundred thousand? I guess I don't understand that. The same thing DLZ did. I right. could say the same thing that you yeah. did. Yeah. Like a lot of guys. Uh, yeah, there'd be some <coughs> architectural design and space layout, yeah. location, I guess. No, that should got to happen, though. Mm -hmm. That's a bad thing. You see what yeah. some of the fees yeah. we should not be. We should but I don't want you to, do want you to incur, incur extra costs on the. Well, we are. That's the whole point. We're going to incur yeah. the costs on the bond, regardless of what the what the final bond is. Hey, the way I understand it. Do you have somebody identified that would do the feasibility study yet? We are. The board is actually working on the RFP for the architects, and we do have we do have a consultant that we worked with before for the actual needs assessment. Uh, no one right now knows the state standards well enough to help us on that, but I'll probably be doing that. So you, you already have an RFP out for an architect? We actually have the draft is being developed. I mean, that's the, the process. We, we did a, a Lean, Six, Lean Six Sigma exercise on determining what were the most important qualifications for the architects. And uh, that, that we're waiting for that document. We have a meeting next week, and that document's coming back to us. <laughs> Just so I'm, I'm clear now, the needs assessment person might not be the person who would determine location. You and the board would probably can. Well, the I mean, we, there's a site selection committee made up of more than just board members. It's yeah. individuals in the community uh, working also with this group that we've been meeting with county, city officials as well on good locations. Um, so there'll be a. I, I don't say it's going to be one person that's going to make the decision. It's going to be a joint decision. What's the best place? Right. Okay. They might identify. Several places. Yeah. And obviously, yeah. the architects would look at all that. Right. Right. So, do you, have, like you already yeah. have some potential sites in mind then? Yeah. For them to look at. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're that. We're that far uh, down the road. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's. I, I think we have some comments from the public that we let's. Uh, we do. <laughs> have those and. If, if there are public comments, please come forward, state your name. No. 